So I want to react to a to a comment from Niall Bork. Hello from Dublin. This Kundalini stuff is really a wild, wild ride. I suffer with massive pressure in the forehead area, chronic headaches, vertigo, skin rashes, extremes of hot and cold, dry eyes and skin, general anxiety in the body and sensations of something crawling over my skin. This has been going on for the last five years to a greater or lesser degree. Any advices on how to manage these symptoms would be really appreciated. So I'm going to start off really simple by telling you I'm not an expert in Kundalini. I'm not a tantric teacher. I'm not, I don't have any qualifications, right? I can only talk to you about my own experience. So all these things that you describe, they are like byproducts of your, your Kundalini energy restructuring, realigning, because once you have an awakening and the Kundalini energy is awakened, it's like a process from if you have the old self, how you were before, you were just you identified as your person. And then there's an awakening, the energy is awakened. And then the energy starts the process of realigning, reconditioning the body to who you really are. And because there's resistance, because there's old structures, there's a, an optimal way to do this or a not optimal way, a suboptimal way, right? This all depends on your environment, what you feed yourself, um, how you take care of yourself, because how you were before, right? It's not how you are now, because the energy has its, has its own agenda. It has its own um, intention or path or result that it wants to get and it's it goes let's say it goes not in conjunction with what you think should happen or should have or should be so sometimes I know people like um, there's a great book about this whole process I would really recommend it to you it's called the end of your world by Ajashanti and he talks about how um, he, whenever the energy was moving a lot, or there was a lot of uh, involuntary like uh, things happening, he would he would use certain things like uh, acupressure to ground the energy, like meditation to to still to still to still yourself to to allow the nervous system to calm down because this has a lot to do with the nervous system also. Um, so it's all about like taking care of yourself, supporting yourself. There's a great course that I'm, I'm also like about to buy and it's called Kunalini, um, a Kunalini course by Igor Kufayev. Uh, he's also a teacher on YouTube. I'm gonna buy it. I think it's 250 euros. And he has like these all kinds of different modules where he goes over the whole process of, of how to take care of yourself because you have to take care of the food because your body has different doshas. In Ayurveda, they call it like um, you have rajas, tamas, and sattva. So these doshas, these, these qualities in, in you, like when you, when you have an awakening, when the energy is active, you have to eat in a way to support your body, to support the systems uh, reconditioning, realignment uh, for for your mind, for your stress. There are there are all kind of different ways to handle that, to to work with that. Like what what do I do? Mainly, I I listen to my body. So I meditate daily, right? I I do doing uh, chakra meditation. So what I really love and works for me is blessing of the energy centers by Joe Dispenza. It's a it's a Kundalini meditation where you bless each chakra in your body to to work at it at the, for the highest good or to work at its peak right and when it works the energy flows and there's nothing being stuck and when the energy flows things can change things can move things things are things are not um, being impeded and then during the meditations i get like new insights or intuitive um, ideas like 
like my body or my, 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 my subconscious mind or whatever is letting me know I need to eat like this. Maybe need to add this supplement. Maybe need to do this kind of yoga routine for my body to stretch it out. Because it's really like you have no control of the, of the Kundalini process, right? It's like once you're awakened, you cannot go back, right? Maybe you can, but I don't think you can. Because once you're awakened, the energy is all about yeah, completing the process of embodiment so that you embody who you really are and the old self has to has to die for that it's like you're being reborn so it's dying to the old self to the old structures in reality there's no one dying it's just memories uh, attachments uh, ideas self images all these things they crumble they crumble and they change because they are seen for what they are they just condition patterns of behavior over a long period of time and yeah so that's what i do like my 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 food patterns have changed with that and the more that i listen to my own intuition and to my own body the more grounded that i feel the more relaxed that i feel the better my sleep is sometimes in especially in the beginning you might have like weeks or months where you're sleepless because there's so much energy now all of a sudden in the body um, you might also work with Reiki, Reiki uh, masters or go to CAP, Kundalini Activation Process. What I really love about CAP is you go to a session and you don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is you go to a session, you lie down and you just breathe. And the, it's so simple. The non-dual energy works with your kundalini energy and they work together and whatever you need to happen whenever you whatever you need to release whatever you need to realign whatever you need to to feel or to realize it's gonna happen so every time you get what you need in that one hour session and things might start to change very gradually and then looking back looking back at a certain for a certain while you realize like whoa so much has changed but you didn't do anything it all just happened. Now, if you don't support your own process of integration, of realignment, because this is realignment, if you don't support that, then you might feel symptoms, symptoms here, symptom there, symptom there, and your mind doesn't know how to interpret them, doesn't know how to work with them. Because in reality, how could you know? How could you know? You, you can go to a doctor, but unless he's like a very in-depth uh, doctor with no knowledge about this, he's gonna think about other things. So like seek out teachers, seek out people who, who, who have walked this path. So I definitely recommend you those two things that I just uh, mentioned, The End of Your World by Ajashanti and the Kundalini Course by um, Igor Kufayev. He has also a lot of free YouTube videos. But uh, yeah, it's like, unless you're fully liberated, enlightened, you as a person, you have to deal with the processes. You have to take care of yourself. You have to put yourself on first place so that your nervous system is calm, so that everything is relaxed, so that there's no buildup, so that, let's say, you're not, you're not letting the dam being being built with with pressure so that you're you become almost unstable right it's like you you need to be aware of what your body needs and then seek out certain activities or certain um, spaces where you can you can release where you can work with it where you can give yourself what you need and definitely food food is a very big thing um, yeah so so i would definitely recommend it to you like i know for people who are self-realized, because there's no doer anymore with them, because they have no center anymore, they have no person who does all these things. Like, in a way, it's it's different for them because if you, if you have abiding awakening, if you're awakened, if you're enlightened, then the energy, it's it's like. According to Igor Kufayev, 
he talked about how Ramana Maharshi said that from the moment of awakening, there's a three to 12 year period of integration of the energy to, to complete the embodiment. So that means that from the moment you awaken, you, you have to seek out things to support yourself. And, but if you're enlightened, if you're, so if you're, if you're, if you're not enlightened, then you have to be, become aware of it like, well, like with a child, like look at his needs and give yourself what you need. But if you become enlightened, right? And you don't have a me anymore. First of all, there's no resistance. So if you don't sleep, you don't sleep. It's not a problem because not sleeping or sleeping less than you slept before for months at a time is only a problem if you believe that you need eight hours of sleep every single night. If you believe that, and your experience is that you cannot sleep or you only sleep one or two hours because of all this energy, like, of course, there's gonna be resistance, right? So it's, it's all about like being aware. For an enlightened person, they don't have resistance, so they just go with the process. And the, the changes happen by, them, by themselves gradually, but it, because it's no one doing anything, it's no one choosing anything. But if you're not enlightened, like follow the courses, give yourself that, give yourself the gift of creating structures for yourself so that the energy can flow, so that the energy can, can um, in, the, in a simple, clear, effective way, do what it's needed. Because if you have all these resistant structures and you wanna hold on to the past and you don't want to, to move with the energy into the changes, you, you will feel it, you will feel a lot of symptoms. So I hope this video um, was of any value to you. Honestly, like I'm just sharing my own experience with it. I'm not an expert again. Uh, I may have said things that are wrong. <laughs> my own experience was when I, uh, when I had the awakening, a lot, a lot, a lot of sleepless nights or sleeping very little. Um, digest digestive system changed so differently. Like, couldn't eat certain things in the, uh, in the quantities, the, I mean, everything, everything changed. Um, my capacity to, 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 to be engaged with things changed. Uh, my need to relax, it, it, it all changed. So, like, honestly, the biggest thing that you need to focus on is the food like food, 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 food. And uh, like working with an Ayurveda specialist, uh, with a very good Ayurveda specialist, if he can identify your, your, your type and then you can give yourself a, the right food, that already will like, do a lot for you. So yeah, um, thank you very much for your question. Thank you.